Well, again, we, we have a plan. We have a plan that, that we've put a price tag beside every single item. And each and every one of you have followed us around and every day I hold a press conference and tell you about our great plan. But by the end of this campaign, we will have a fully costed platform. That is PC leader Doug Ford, who's been under growing pressure to provide a fully costed platform, which he has been promising. So voters could get a look at it and assess it before they go to the polls. Well, today, just eight days before the election, the PC party updated its website quietly and without fanfare, outlining the costs of its promises. However, it does not say where it's going to get the money to pay for them. So yes, the platform has been released and costed, sort of. Here are some of the costs outlined on the PC website. Doug Ford has been announcing them one by one during the campaign. For example, ending cap and trade, $1.9 billion a year. Free dental care for low-income seniors, $98 million a year. Increased mental health funding, $190 million a year. And reducing business taxes, $1.3 billion per year. The Liberal and NDP leaders were quick to tear into the numbers or lack of them. It actually isn't a fully costed plan. I think there's more detail actually in the, the uh, document that we put out that sort of added up the, uh, the promises that, um, that Doug Ford has made, which we calculate to be about $40 billion that uh, he would have to find. So I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's important to say that eight days before an election, every party should have a costed, fully uh, coherent plan to uh, to take to the people of Ontario. That's not what Doug Ford and the Conservatives have uh, put out. Mr. Ford, um, you know, is uh, is only prepared to write uh, write a list of things he might do and put it on the internet. Uh, that, you know, that's not good enough. Uh, the, the reality is, that people deserve to know what. Mr. Ford's plans are. What is Mr. Ford going to cut? What services are going to uh, be threatened by Mr. Ford's cuts? Uh, what, what's he going to privatize in our health care system? These are the questions that remain outstanding. And coming up in just a few minutes, I'll be talking to a pollster about what impact this could all have on voters. And War Room strategist who works on Doug Ford's campaign, Melissa Lansman, gave me a statement saying, every promise we've made is costed in our plan. We are going to balance the budget in a responsible way. We will not balance in the first or second year, but are committed to returning to balance as quickly as we can. We do not know the state of Ontario's finances, and anyone who tells you they do is lying to you.